Hi Bishop Kawira Mwangaza, do solemnly swear that the evidence that I shall give before the Senate in respect of the matters before the Senate shall be the truth, the old truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Good evening, Madam Governor. Even to you, Akili. Thank you. Uh, you are appearing before the Senate for the third time, courtesy of the County Assembly of Meru, who seeks to have you removed from office by way of impeachment, and they have cited three main grounds for impeachment. One is that you were invited to appear before the County Assembly of Meru, but you did not. Could you explain to the Senate why you did not honor the summons at the County Assembly? Thank you, Honorable Speaker and Senators. I did not appear at the County Assembly of Meru because there was a court uh, issue with the impeachment, and I was afraid that I would go there and then uh, it will be termed as contempt of court. Thank you. Uh, you have talked about uh, there being a court issue. Are you aware if the court had stopped the impeachment process at their county assembly level? Thank you, Speaker. The court had issued a court order for the same. And uh, subsequent to the impeachment, did you take any action against the county assembly for disobeying court orders? Yes, after they moved, uh, they uh, debated about the impeachment. I moved to court uh, and sued for contempt of court. Thank you. Subsequently, you wrote to the Speaker of this House informing him of the court processes and the orders that had been issued. Do you recall doing that? Yes. What was the date of that letter? Ninth August, 2024. Thank you very much. Nevertheless, you are here today to answer to the charges. You have filed a response, the one that is dated 17th day of August, 2024. Do you wish to stand by the response as adduced before the Senate? Yes. And all the affidavits attached therein? Yes. Thank you. Uh, I want to go specifically to the three charges and I want you to guide me on any evidence that you have adduced and if the same has been adduced by other witnesses then you're free to state that indeed that issue has been addressed to your satisfaction. The first ground for impeachment is the ground of illegally revoking the appointment of one Virginia Kawera. Have you made a response to that allegation? Yes. You brought witnesses here to testify on that fact, and there was a serious controversy as to a legal opinion that you allegedly received that informed your revocation. I want you to specifically address that issue because all the other issues have been addressed and I'll be very specific. Did you or did you not receive any advisory from your legal advisor, one Linda Keome? Thank you, Speaker. I received advisory from the legal advisor. Uh, to be very specific, when we were here the last time, I was advised by this honorable house that they should go and do away with the any, if there was any illegal appointment. And from that I called my legal advisor and also the C Waziri for Legal Affairs and Public Administration. And then I sought their advice about one Virginia Kawira. Who was your legal advisor that you sought advice from? Linda Keome. 
Linda Kiome appeared here yesterday and said that you have lifted the signatures from other documents and or you have forged a signature or used it without a consent and termed that advisory as a mediocre. Why would Linda Kiome, an advocate of the High Court of Kenya, appear before Senate and disown a document that you allege she had forwarded to you in your own understanding? Maybe uh, due to some political pressure or because uh, there is a court, a case in court that she has sued me because of uh, terminating her uh, as my legal advisor. Those are among the issues maybe that have led her to, uh, to say that the letter did not originate from her. Madam Governor, are you familiar with technology to the extent of being able to lift a signature from another